Okay, now I'm going to show you guys some basic things you can do with plants for your garden. You don't have to do the same thing I do, but you can if you want. I'm going to go to these bushes. See, I don't understand why. Well, here, this is what I'm going to do. You could make an X with your bushes. So you go four that way. And skip a space. And go this way. This is what I did in the neighborhood fest. This is how I got my X shape. And I left a space in the middle so I could put something in the middle as a decoration. Kind of sucks I have to make all these different videos for something I could have just put in one video, but YouTube won't let me. Pack a little ways with this one so there's enough room. See, there's, um, there's not really much to it. It's just where you want stuff to be, I guess. And then you could, well, put whatever you want in the middle. Because these are big enough. No, but you could probably do these out here. Might be alright. It's a matter of where things fit. Sometimes I've made some really cool stuff on accident. Like I've put all four of these um, walkways together in the neighborhood fest. It looked pretty cool. Did that on accident. I mean, it don't look the greatest. But it'll look a lot better once you like Put in some columns and stuff, and some flowers. You could even put this in the middle. You could widen all this out with the hush bastet. That's my cat. She's an attention monger. If it's not about her, it ain't about nobody else. <laughs> But what I was saying was, is you can move all this back and make this a bigger space. Put you, your sitting area in it. And put the fountain in the middle with some real pretty flowers. Or even those, uh, the water tiles around it to make it look like a, fountain, a bigger fountain. You could use the lily pad. What's that other one? I might have passed it. There's one lily pad squares. Where they at? I use those a lot too. They're probably down here and I'm just dingy. Who knows? But you can do all kinds of neat stuff with your fencing too. But, let's see how much. Yeah, four minutes. Alright. But yeah, you could do your whole yard. You don't have to have a home to decorate your house. And you don't necessarily have to connect all these fence posts. Like, this is a really cute fence. Don't get me wrong. But I don't want to use it as a fence made a table out of it once. I'll show you how to do that. Actually, I think I will. This is how I made a table. I made it like before anybody else made it. I just didn't post it. See? Boom. Table. 
and then you could just put some you could use these little things which I think they're too small so I just use them for the outside or you can even use just regular chairs sitting chairs those fancy black and red chairs that they sell those are like one of my favorite things on here these I think they're cute I use them a lot see them that look like a little table that's awesome but yeah you can make you a dining area with your grill like a cookout area all kinds of stuff so Let's see how much time all right I got enough time to uh, show you how to make stuff pop too. Let's make an outside deck. Doesn't have to be very big because we're kind of in a hurry. See this? You don't want to start there. You want, you want to start. You want to skip a space and then go over and all the way back. And then you want to skip a space over here too. Let's see how it looks like it's floating on air. And then the neat thing about it is, is you can get this post. Sometimes it takes me a minute to figure out where they go. But you can put them up like this. And it kind of looks like the posts are supposed to go there. I think I need to move this one. See, isn't that neat? That's how people get stuff to pop off their property. And then all you have to do is add some furniture. Boom, sitting area outside. Looks like a deck. You can put a fireplace on there or just make it a little a couple of little tables. One right here, one right here, whatever you want to do. It's not really that hard to, de to decorate. You can decorate random stuff all day long. Your stuff doesn't have to be perfect. You just got to like it. It doesn't matter if anybody else likes it. Alright, well I showed you guys a few things in this video. I think I'm going to go for now. But this is my third video I've made tonight since I couldn't upload a 30 minute video. I don't know why YouTube hates me today. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and stuff that I gave you. I know some of them were already tips that I gave you before, but I'm just trying to help out a friend figure out how she wants to decorate her home because she doesn't think she's any good at decorating. And I just don't believe it. Anyway, like and subscribe at the bottom. And come join us at Facebook, at Home Street Home page. You join. Our only criteria is, is that we ask that you do not bully. Call names. We don't do the bullying thing. But, it was great talking to you guys, and I hope you liked the video. Have a good night.